Hello, this video is another two-way table relative frequency example. This time you're not given a pre-made or partially filled out two-way table. So when we read this question, we're talking about there's 150 children at a summer camp that signed up for swimming and then also canoeing. So when I set up my two-way table, I'm going to put down on the top here people who went swimming versus the people that uh, did not go swimming. And then on this part of the table, I'm going to label it people that went canoeing and not canoeing. So then, if, I, if you look at this two-way table, I'm going to start filling out some things I know. So we know from the first part of the problem that we have a total of 150 campers. And then it says, of those campers, 71 signed up for swimming. So here's swimming. So the total number of campers that went swimming were 71. And it says there were 62 students that signed up for canoeing. So here's the canoeing total. And 28 of them also signed up for swimming. So we're going to put 28 here because they signed up for swimming and canoeing. And then from these four spots, I can fill out the rest of my two-way table. So I have to ask myself, okay, 28 plus what is 62? That would have to be 34. If I add 28 plus 43, I'm going to get 71 total swimmers. And then... I can also find out this missing value here because 62 plus something has to equal 150 and that ends up being 88. And I can do the same thing. 71 plus 79 would be 150 this way. And then to fill in this missing spot, I can take 34 minus 79 and I would get 45. And also 43 plus 45 is 88. So remember, my marginal frequency are what all these columns and rows add up to. So I know there were 71 swimmers, 62 people going canoeing. There was 28 people that did both. There was 45 campers that chose not to go swimming or canoeing. And there's 150 total campers at the site. Now, if I turn this into a relative frequency table, what I would do is I'm going to take these same numbers. I'm going to go ahead and make a another two by two graph here and again i'm just going to abbreviate this one is swimming and not swimming and this is canoeing and not canoeing and remember to do a relative frequency what you do is you take this number which is 28 and divide it by 71 and when i do that i'm going to round that it's going to be about 39.4 percent do the same thing. If I take 43 divided by 71, I'm going to get 60.6%. When you do this, it should add up to 100%. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to go 34 divided by 79, which is 43%. And then I'm going to do the same thing, 45 divided by 79, which would give me 57%. Now, in our last lesson, we talked about association for two-way tables. And when you look at the numbers, these are really close to each other. So this is a really weak association. Um, if they were further apart, then there'd be a stronger association, meaning there's some kind of clear connection. But right now, between canoeing and swimming, there isn't that much of a discrepancy between the two.